Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number five. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to add images to your website. So as you can see, I've actually just cleared out everything that was in my body. There's nothing there now. And uh, what we're going to do now is add an image. But the first thing we need is to actually have an image that we can load into our website. So don't worry, I actually went ahead and prepared that beforehand. And I've got these two images here on my desktop and I'll show you what they look like. And now we're going to go ahead and add these two images into our website. But uh, to do that, our images have to be in the same file location or same folder as our index.html file. So if you open up this fo folder here, you can see there we have an index.html file. Let me just, yeah, anyway, it's fine. Uh, there. <laughs> There we go, we have our website right there in that folder. So let's go ahead and just drag these images into that folder. And as you can see, we now have, we now have our two images and then our index.html file. So that's cool. Now we can go ahead back to Notepad++ and begin adding our image. And obviously we need to make a uh, an image tag so let's just go ahead and smaller than and greater than sign and inside here we're going to type I M G for image and it's a single tag so we can just go ahead and add, it, add in our forward slash before the uh, greater than sign over there and there we go now we have an image tag but this alone is not enough information for HTML. HTML doesn't know what image we want to use. They don't know, it doesn't know where the image is, uh, where to find the image to use or anything like that. So we actually have to give HTML a little bit more information. Um, so what we have to do now is we have to use something called an attribute. And an attribute looks something like this. If you go ahead and uh, just type in like this for now. So you always have an attribute and then it'll be equal to and then it'll be set to something in between these two quotation marks. And it usually turns yellow like that if you're using Notepad++. But uh, attribute isn't actually a real attribute. So in this case, the attribute we want to be using is SRC. And as you can see, it turns red in Notepad++, and that just means that that is indeed a real attribute that we can use. And uh, SRC stands for source, which is obviously the source of our image. And now we need to set it to something over here, which is obviously going to be the image uh, name, dot, and then the file type, okay? So let's just go ahead back to my folder over there. And now let's take a look. Obviously, uh, this is the image I want to use right now. And obviously, you can see the name here says Sweet. And the file type is here in the bottom corner where it says PNG. Okay. That's because it's a ping image. So let's just go ahead and uh, type that in. Now, if you're using a JPEG, obviously, you'll be .jpg. But uh, in my case, it's PNG. And now we can go ahead and save that and run in Firefox. And uh, there we go. We now have a website with an image loaded in that says, sweet, it worked. So I explained to you guys how you can use an attribute. Let me just minimize this or exit. Um, how you can use an attribute then to add in the image and I said to you guys that we also have uh, a whole bunch of preset attributes but I didn't tell you what they all are yet and uh, there's a whole bunch of them like name and uh, ID but I'll be going into that uh, in, in more depth in future tutorials uh, but for now there are actually uh, another two uh, attributes that we can use in this in this tutorial so let me just go ahead and uh, load in that bigger image that we had 
uh, showed in just now. As you can see, it, the image name is HTML underscore CSS, and it's also a PNG file. So I'm just going to type in here HTML underscore CSS and save that. And when I go back to run that in Firefox, we now land up with this really big image that actually takes up so much of our website that we have to now start scrolling around. And uh, obviously, you know, we don't really want an image that's going to take up so much space on our website. So let me just go ahead and minimize that. And uh, we can actually resize our image with another two attributes called height. If I can spell it right. Nope. Gosh, how do you spell height? <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just forgot to spell height. I was under pressure, you know. Anyways, and I still spelled it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay, under pressure from the camera. Okay, and now we can just go ahead and specify the height. So our last image, I think, let me just go back here. If we make, if we want to turn this image 960 by 540 uh, to be the same size as the smaller image that we loaded in earlier, it would be 480 by 270. So let me just go ahead and change the height to 270 and we can change the width to uh, what was that 480 I think and if we go ahead and save that and then go back to our browser and click refresh we now have that really big image sitting at exactly the same size as our smaller image used to be okay so that's pretty cool but uh, just be aware that if you guys ever resize a really big image down like this in HTML it still goes ahead and loads in that big mumbo jumbo image. Let me just go ahead and show you guys quick. It still goes ahead and loads in this really big image and then resizes it down to the size that you wanted it. So it's still going to uh, increase loading time if you ha try have a big image like that and then resize it in HTML. So it's probably better if you guys just make your image the exact size it needs to be and then load it into your HTML. It'll just help your website load faster and then uh, people won't be so impatient while waiting for it to load. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And that's all I've got for you in this tutorial. So I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share my videos.